Mr. Ansel. And in Mr. Ansel fashion, I've got a lager. Cheers, John. John Ansel Memorial Trip to the Isle of Wight. Haven Fishery. Get fresh in there. And fried fish to take away. And fried fish to take away. Just close it through, can't we reopen 4.30? You're doing an advert. <laughs> well, I worked there, so. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. 4.30 or 7.30. Was that the one on the heavy bikers? Yes. Uh, that was us with the crab on chips. Yeah. yeah. Alan, prepare yourself for a shock. It's closed. The sign's gone. The Windsor Gardens. This is where you and Mr. John Ansell let me and Steve go and find a room for three hours. And you two sat and had a swift half or ten. And it's all closed down. Look, that's sad. I was rather hoping to go and have a, a quick pint for his memory. John is no longer with us, for those of you who don't know. Four of us used to go here, Steve, John, myself and Alan. The Jolly Boys outing once a year to the Isle of Wight. And this was one of our homes, which is sadly closed. Oh well, time marches on. Wandering into Ventnor Town. Rose, I do believe that was one of our visits. There's the Blenheim. That was another of our haunts of Blenheim where we used to go. Uh -huh. uh, jewellery shop is where John went to get his watch strap sorted out. And then moaned when they charged him. <laughs> ah, here's some good news. This is where Alan bought his Meccano from. Not seen any Meccano in there at the minute. It was an older meat mint, so like my mum used to have. Alan collects bits of Meccano and uh, he went in here and bought a cog. Or a pulley, I'm sure he'll correct me if it's wrong. <laughs> Can you all go up and get some provisions? Oh, 
Harcourt Daughters. And some Eccles cakes. Oh, I can't beat Eccles cakes. <laughs> if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Breakaway. Kitty cats. Oh. Can't go wrong here. The old uh, BT engineer is still up there fixing the telephone lines. It's been a while. See you on overtime. Well, here's a quick tour of our accommodation. We have a kitchen. Everything you could want. That's the view from the, uh, from the door. We've got a back door looking out onto the uh, little garden, which is called the garden flat. Up there's a car park. And we have a little niche in here with a fridge. Keep the old wine cool, that's good. And then a dining area, which is uh, at the moment got my laptop on it, so not much room for food. The lounge, a very nice dresser with plates on, and there's a cracking chair, which I really like. Look at that! Look at that. It's like one of those old-fashioned, um, you know, the ones that keep the wind off you when you were sat in front of the fire in the great hall. Brilliant. Little sofa here, little telly. Underneath it is a DVD. We brought that with us because. Um, like watching films, so we've got a few films with us. Another nice view of that, that dresser, some very nice plates. Bedroom, sink, bed obviously, and the door leading out onto the little garden, and of course a well-appointed loo. Dark. And a shower. And a ventilation window, which doesn't open, so I'll it shut. And there you have it. The accommodation. Be a nice house. Designing for your perfect living space, residential project. Oh yeah, very nice. Ten past six, tea time now. The sun's out and it's a lot more pleasant. It's more like it. Proper weather. Our destination. The Met. Got olives, garlic. Pickled garlic's nice. Another meal bite stuff. That's it was very good. We are in old Shanklin town. On a Monday morning. Crab down there. Town up here. Recognise that hotel, Alan? That's the one where John came out the loo and had forgot to do uh, a certain thing, put something away, let's say. That's the one, and it's still going. He it, it didn't get them shut down. That was good. 
This is the Vernon Cottage Tea Rooms in Shanklin Old Town. Let's have another cup of tea. Very pleasant it is too. Shanklin Chine Historic Gorge. That's it there. That's we pass that. River flowing through it. And we went uh, up here. This is where we all walked back to the guest house. Well, some of us walked and some of us staggered. Well, actually, it was only one of us who staggered. I won't say who it was, but it wasn't Alan, it wasn't me, and it wasn't Steve. <laughs> this is where we come out the top. I can't remember which way we went. Oh yeah, that was the way. Up here, Luckham Road. Luckham Road. And then we walked up there to the guest house and just on that bend is where I um, borrowed a road mender's lamp because it was paraffin. Upstairs to the bar. Brilliant. There's another cheers to John. Can we join these cheers to John's? Compensation. <laughs> Lots of compensation. We're going to the Ventnor Haven fried fish to take away shop. Made famous by the hairy, well no, not made famous, it was famous already. Made even more famous by the hairy biters. Boats come in there with the fish, goes up there and comes out there. Don't get much fresh from that, do you? Word of warning, they're closed on Mondays, so we'll do that tomorrow. We're eating again, lobsters. I meant we're eating lobsters, that wasn't a remark.
we're eating tonight at the Ale and Oyster. And we're having lobster as opposed to crabs. That's my starter. Lovely bit of white bait. Sunny God's Hill today, but well, it might be sunny later. This is Chocolate Island. I take it's a place that just sells chocolatey things. Guess where Leslie's gone? Cider barn. I think I'll just stay here for the day. Cider, you gotta buy five litres of it. Gate crasher, that's the one. That's oh, the uh, I think that's the eight point four. Yeah, that'll do. What's this one? Well, it'll be strong enough. Now then Alan, do you remember that pub? The Griffin Family Inn. That's where we fought the four of us, I think we spent about three hours in there, if you remember rightly, in God's Hill, just opposite the car park. tomorrow uh, I forgot an onion so I asked the landlady if I could pinch an onion and I got that 
a football. Is that just not an amazing onion? Crab samosa, wow. Crab croquette. <laughs> Battered onion rings. Oh, they're always beating up onion rings, it's not fair. Ribs of skate wings. Sounds nice. Just so much. Well, I've got to admit, the, uh, the Haven fish bar stuff was brilliant. Uh, Leslie had crab and chips. I know it sounds an odd combination, but it was lovely. And I had the, probably the best place I've ever had at a chip shop. Another recommendation. That's a drop of that cider I got at uh, God's Hill Cider Barn. Which is deceptively mild, so best not drink too much of that. the old crow. Hello. As you've gathered it's quite quiet at the minute. It's uh, brilliant. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Crab and lobster. Alan will remember the crab and lobster. Because they do a good curry in here, don't they? the exact spot where we were sat when Alan said they do a good curry in here <laughs> or something similar nice patio bit and there's the view from the uh, crab and lobster gardens tides out Last evening before we go, so of course we've got to have the old barbecue, haven't you? The onions on. And it doesn't look too bad out here. Barbecue, courtesy of co-op, lit and going. Put it away there nicely. It's going to do the job, those are disposable ones. And that's the burgers going. For every up, there's a down. <laughs>